This is lesson 103 on cross products and using cross products to complete proportions. Now, one thing that I would like all of you to know and to memorize is this statement that says that equal fractions have equal cross products. If you watch the Khan Academy video, he does a really good job of walking through mathematically why that is true. I am not going to do that here though. So what that means is if we multiply these two numbers and we multiply these two numbers, their products will be the same. So three times eight will be equal to four times six if these two are equivalent fractions. And 3 times 8 is 3 times 8 is 24 and 4 times 6 is 24. So, they indeed are equivalent fractions. And you can do this for any equivalent fraction. If you do something um, you know, really simple like 1 half and 3 sixths, you know, you know this is an equivalent fraction uh, and you can do a check. So, 3 times 2 is 6. And 1 times 6 is 6. So if you ever forget a rule like this, you can go back and look at a fraction that you know for a fact is equivalent and remember what this rule is. All right, let's look at example 1. The example says, is 3 fifths and 4 sevenths equivalent fractions? Well, we're going to check by cross multiplying. So we're going to check 3 times 7 and we're going to check 4 times 5 to see if they are equal. 4 times 5 is 20, and 3 times 7 is 21. So these are not equivalent fractions. Okay? Our next example is 8 over 12, the same as 12 over 18. All right, 12 times 12 is 144, and 8 times 18 I haven't memorized my 18s, so I'm just going to do this. 8 times 8 is 64, and 8 plus 6 is 14. So, in fact, these are equivalent fractions because their cross products are the same. In this example, we're going to be using this principle to find an unknown m. So I'm just going to cross multiply, okay? 10 times 9 is equal to 6 times m. I'm going to leave it like this because I can uh, more easily factor before I have to divide. So if I divide this side by 6, I get m. If I divide this by 6, I can factor out a 3 here. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I end up with, after all that mess, I end up with 15 equals m. Another way of doing this would be to say 90 equals 6 m and then divide 6 into 90 and I would also get 15. But I just wanted to show you um, the way of factoring because I'm going to use that in example 4. Um, so I have 21 times m equals 15 times 70. Now again I could multiply 15 times 70, but um, I'm going to use factoring so I don't have to do all that multiplying and dividing. So I see that um, I can factor 3 out of 15 and I can factor 3 out of 21. And then I have uh, oh, an obvious 7 that I can factor out of this. And obviously a 7 I can factor out of that. So W turns out to be 5 times 10, which is 50. 
All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. I am sorry for uploading this late, and hopefully we'll be all caught up by the end of this week. God bless.